So probably you remember that early on on the during the vaccination campaign for uh, COVID-19 about one year ago in March 2021, um, several cases of thromboembolic events were reported in uh, people given uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine in Europe. And although this was apparently a very extremely rare event, uh, several countries immediately suspended the use of this vaccine. And then shortly thereafter, just a few days after um, a German group and more or less at the same time also an English group and the Norwegian group, uh, they identified in these patients with CBT and um, thrombocytopenia uh, that uh, they had positive uh, antibodies for uh, against uh, platelet factor 4, PF4. So um, this seemed to be a, a similar mechanism to heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, and, um, but it was unknown how, how it, uh, what was the mechanism. And then in April, so one month later, uh, FDA also paused the vaccination with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because there were similar reports uh, of CVT and thrombocytopenia and positive PF4 antibodies in patients receiving this also adenoviral-based vaccine. Um, so at this point uh, in, uh, in Europe, uh, we started the registry of uh, cerebral venous thrombosis after vaccination with uh, any of the vaccines against uh, SARS-CoV-2. Uh, and this was then uh, within a network of uh, CVT researchers, which is the International CVT Consortium. And so very uh, quickly, we could gather several cases across uh, Europe and other countries. And by June, we had data already on more than 100 cases. And what we found was that patients with CVT and thrombocytopenia after vaccination with these vaccines had a different specific presentation, which was much more severe compared with patients with CVT in the pre-pandemic years, which was our control group. Um, so these patients had higher rates of common at presentation, about one quarter and about two quarters. Uh, Three, two thirds had ICH at baseline as well, and the mortality rates were around 50%, while usually it is for 5% in the acute phase for um, uh, CBT in the pre pandemic period. Uh, also, um, we have been exploring uh, why is it so common that these patients have CVT, while, for example, patients with epinephrine induced thrombocytopenia, we have the impression that it was quite rare that they, they had CVT. And indeed, we did a systematic review on that. And it is quite uh, rare, about 1% to 2% of patients with epinephrine-induced thrombocytopenia have CVT, while patients with vaccine-induced thrombocytopenia, about one half have uh, this, this severe form of CVT. So um, indeed, there it should be something else than the PF4 antibodies and the pathophysiology to explain this uh, tropism of the thrombosis for the cerebral venous system in this new condition, but we still don't know. So we, we are still exploring and we hope that um, this and other questions in future research, uh, we, we can learn more from, from this condition.